Hello, and welcome to Venn Diagrams. My name's Tuesday Johnson. Here's an introduction to a concept with applications. So Venn Diagrams, let's look at some terminology. A Venn Diagram is a visual representation of sets and how they interact. It's named after John Venn, um, hence the capital Venn Diagrams. A Venn Diagram consists of a universal set. All right, this is the the everything that's under consideration, we'll either call it a U or we'll call it an S. Uh, we're going to use S. I'm going to use S for the most part. Uh, this is all sets, all elements, all everything under consideration in this rectangular window. Now the sets are represented by subsets of S are represented by circles, and we'll label them sometimes with their their name inside the set itself. Sometimes it'll be outside. It just depends. All right. So basic. Venn diagram, a rectangle that represents everything, and then sets that represent certain individual characteristics. Here we have a Venn diagram, and with this Venn diagram, we see that the heart is an element of A because heart is inside the set A, whereas happy face is not an element of A because the happy face is not inside the circle for A. Uh, here's a Venn diagram that has three sets of some relation. There are many different ways we could represent three sets. But here we see that C is a subset of A. Since the set C is completely contained in the set A, the circle for the set C is completely contained in the circle for the set A, um, we have a, a proper subset. We could use just the subset notation or the proper subset notation. Here in the overlap, although I didn't show the overlap with color here, uh, the overlap of A and B, the intersection has meaning, but the intersection of C and B, these two circles have nothing in common. Frequently, we will say C intersect B equals the empty set, or we'll say that they are mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive means they have nothing in common. Here we have two Venn diagrams. Let's look at the uh, top left. The union of two sets includes everything in A, everything in B, and whatever they have in common. All right, A union B. Marriage uh, is one of the unions that we are familiar with. It's all of your stuff, all of their stuff, all the stuff you got together. Down here in the bottom right, we see the intersection of two sets includes only the overlap from A and the overlap from B. It's where they intersect or overlap each other. It's where they're hooked up. It's in A and in B. So you can make a little crossbar here, A and B. That's where they share their edges. The Pecan Grill and Brewery in Las Cruces, New Mexico has a menu with plenty of green chili and pecans in many of their food and drink selections. Sort the following sets into the Venn diagram given. All right, so I, I just took a few things off the menu that have green chili. Stuffed green chilies, green chili chicken, lasagna, hatched chicken pasta, and beer cheese fondue. In the category of foods that have pecans, I, I chose a couple of stuffed green chilies, pecan crusted salmon, which is heavenly, uh, PGB Monte Cristo, and the beer cheese fondue. So if I want to sort these two sets into Venn diagrams, I would start with the stuffed green chilies. And I ask myself, all right, stuffed green chilies definitely in the chili circle, but look, it's also in the pecan circle. So if it has to be in chili and it has to be in pecan, it has to be in their overlap. This will be part of their intersection. Green chili chicken lasagna does not have pecans. So I'll put it inside the chili circle but not inside the pecan circle. Hatch chicken pasta is not in the pecan circle. Hatch chicken pasta. And beer cheese fondue happens to have both chili and pecans, so it'll be in the overlap. Now I've looked at everything from the chili list, so now I'm going to go to the pecan list and see what I haven't listed yet. Stuffed green chilies, got them. Pecan crusted salmon, Oh, that's not up there yet. It doesn't have chili in it, so it has to be just in the pecan section, or just in the pecan area. Uh, pecan Grill and Brewery Monte Cristo, again, highly recommended. Um, there's no green chili in that. And we have the beer cheese fondue. 
uh, in the overlap already taken care of. We've gone through each set, we've compared. Is it just in chili? Is it just in pecans? Or do the foods have both green chili and pecan? Uh, exit three on highway, or excuse me, on Interstate 25. Just saying, it's fantastic. Thank you for watching this video, um, Venn Diagrams. It goes along with sets and set concepts. I encourage you to check out the applications of set and set concepts next.